Hello there, all electronic enthusiasts might be familiar with this board. This is the famous NodeMCU development board. This uses the ESP8266 microcontroller as the brain. We can buy NodeMCU from online stores, but I wanted to make my own ESP8266 development board. So here it is. I built an ESP8266 development board. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this. Nothing more. Let's get started with this video. So I started from the circuit. This is the circuit, the same circuit that I used in the ESP2V programmer video. Here I just extended the GPIOs into 2.54mm header pins so we can easily plug in the breadboard and other standard boards. After designing and verifying the circuit in ECDA, I converted the circuit into a PCB. And I designed the PCB. Now I generated and downloaded the Gerber file for PCB fabrication. To fabricate PCB, I went to jlcpcb.com. And jlcpcb offers only $2 for 5 PCBs and their PCB assembly starts from $0. To order the PCB, just click on order now and upload the Gerber file. After uploading, we can select the quantity, color, etc. Here I chose purple color and I select the shipping method and place the order. After two weeks, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. So this is the PCBs and the PCB quality is awesome. Next, let's solder the components. Here I am going to use the reflow method. For that, first I dispense the solder paste to the component parts using a needle. Then I placed all components one by one. After placing all components, I placed the PCB on my DIY hot plate and cooked the PCB. After the reflow process, our PCB looks like this. So this is my own ESP8266 development board. Now it's time to test the board. For that, I connected a USB cable to ESP board and see our board detected as CH340 because we use the CH340 IC. Now let's upload the basic blink sketch and see the working. You can see that this is just like a normal NodeMCU but it has USB Type-C. You can find the circuit diagram from my site, link is in the description. So that's all about today, hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video, if so, please like share and subscribe that's all up to you i will see you next time